guys! I will be leaving for Gothenburg in about an hour and um, I want to fix my face since we'll probably be doing some vlogging and stuff like that so I wanted to show you guys how I'm getting ready with me for a travel edition so obviously for this I want it to be like super simple and light on the skin especially since it is summertime even though it's not super warm here today um, so for starters I'm just using the L'Oreal uh, Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, which looks like this. And mine is in the shade 310, which is light ivory. I'm sorry for the light changing. I have the curtains down, but it doesn't seem to be helping a lot. But either way. Okay, so I'm just going to be pouring some of this on my back, on the back of my hand. And um, I did shake it up, like, really thoroughly. Okay, so that was it for the foundation. It's just super easy to apply and it dries when you um, put it on. Um, I'll also be doing a concealer under my eyes and this is the Catrice Cosmetics Retouch Light Reflecting Concealer. Just looks like this and this is in the shade 05 which is called Light Nude. And I'm just patting it and with my fingers. That was pretty much it that's just like natural you can't really see it um, but it brightens up a little bit so I'm also doing a little bit of a contour and for that I'm using my Smashbox contour stick and the contour shade so I'm just sliding down like this and I'm just blending it out with my fingers super subtle and no powder needed or brushes for that matter so I'm just using the Wet n Wild Cover All Correcting Palette with the white shade. I don't want it to be like too noticeable, but I do like my highlight. And then obviously my Cupid's bow. It is summer outside, so I will probably be red, so I don't want to put on any blush, which will just make it worse. For my eyes, I'm going to be starting with this um, Fedora Minerals lid primer and this is in the shade lemon so I will be using like a fluffy brush like this this is the Sigma E50 which is just a large fluff brush and I'm, be I'm going to be using my MAC palette for this I'm going to go in with Berlay which is this one right here which I hit pan on and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid for my blending color, I'm going to be using Rule, which is this orange right here. This has been my favorite blending color. I'm going to be using um, this blending brush thing. This is from eBay, so I didn't, it doesn't have a name. With the same brush, I'm getting a little bit of espresso, which is this dark brown right here. And I'll just be applying like the tiniest bit right here at the outer corner. And this dot here, it's so annoying because color doesn't put on there at all. So it's always white. After that, I'm going to go back in with the fluff brush that I had Brulee on and just blend out the edges a little bit. Before I put on my lid shade, I'm going to go in with the gesso, which is this straight black straight black straight white matte shade and I'm just putting it on a little blush or brush like this this is the deluxe shader brush from uh, Fedora Minerals and I'm going to be putting that under my brow and at the inner corners I am going to use um, this one for my lid this is satin taupe and I like using my fingers to place my lid color so I'm just using my ring finger And um, it pretty much blends itself, but I'm going in with this little fluff brush. This is from Everyday Minerals. I'm not sure what the name is, but I'm just 
sweeping that a little bit in my crease to blend in satin taupe with the other colors. So this is like super simple. I will be doing some liner because it's me. And then it's the struggle of doing the same thing on the other eye. Probably out of focus, but this is it for the eyeliner. And my eyes are not the same. So doing my eyeliner 100% correct is super hard. So I never really try to do it. Um, but I'm going back in with Espresso, which is the dark brown, with a little tiny shader brush from H&M. And I'm just using that right here. When I do that, they look more similar. Um, I'm sorry, the lighting is probably terrible. Hopefully it's not too bad, so I will be able to actually upload this video. And for my mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous, which is the one that I'm always using. I'll just be doing that off camera, because I need to be super well close to the mirror to do that. So I did my mascara and the cleanup that was necessary. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of a lipstick and that will be it for today. So I'm using the YSL Rouge Voluptu Shine in the shade 11. This is just like super nice and hydrating and a little bit of a brown tint, although not too much. So I'm going to be bringing you out to the living room so you can actually see my makeup the way that it looks in daylight. Okay, so I'm in front of the window. So this is what my makeup actually looks like. And um, I'm just missing my brows. So if you saw my packing log, I already packed down the brow powder that I usually use for my brows. So I'm going to be using the um, Brow Drama Pomade Crayon by Maybelline instead. This is the light one. I think there's only two. It's called Medium Brown. And um, there's not a lot of product in this. This is it. Whatever. And once I put it on, I'm taking a little spoolie and brushing it out. I have a little bit of like a transition right here. So I'm going in with the brush that I had gesso on. And I'm getting a little bit more of gesso just underneath there. That was my get away with me. I'm going to um, bring nail polish with me, I think. I was planning on actually doing that here, but I might do it somewhere else. I'm not sure. Or just leave it. I do hope you enjoy this video, though, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!